Andrew Wilson, who looked sharp in moments when he came in against the Galaxy, will also start in that back line. I expect Grezo to protect them. Fakaoka in goal, same back three. There's two changes to this lineup. Luis Martins will start at that left wing back position. Javane Brown. Final few adjustments. There's the whistle from Christopher Calderon. And the 34th all-time MLS meeting in the regular season underway. High line on the offside trap here for Vancouver. It's Espinosa whipping it right in, trying to go to the near post to catch Takaoka sleeping, but not tonight. Yeah, really well done from Takaoka to get down on that one. Kubas just out of his reach, so instead it's Jackson Ewell and San Jose. Pellegrino, limited touches so far here in the first half, but a great splitting ball there for Espinosa. Left foot deflected on the way in, and it should be a third first half corner for Christian Espinosa in San Jose, and it will be. And they'll line up their second one here with Ryan Gauld over there in that far side corner. Left-footed ball onto the back post. Numbers there. Vancouver's going to be pleased with what they've done defensively here and felt pretty composed in their shape in the first half. What has been the biggest thing as we get the first half whistle here from our referee, Christopher Calderon. What's been the biggest thing missing offensively in the tack for San Jose they need to do in the second half? 33-year-old Alfredo Morales, the former NYCFC midfielder, steps out onto the field for his second appearance in a Quakes jersey. Underway here in the second half, Quakes now attacking in all white from left to right across your screen. And an opportunity here for Morales without question on cue on the ball there. Some nice foot skills to get into the match. Pretty good run for about a three and a half year stint with the U.S. men's national team. Had been playing over in Europe, then came over to MLS. Pellegrino, first time back into the mixer, backside. Rodriguez trying to defend with the ball at his feet. And the shot hit by Pellegrino. Was it off the fingertips of Takaoka? It was. Yule defended by Brown, searching for an opening. Chipping onto the back post, out in front! And Pellegrino had it on a silver platter to try and tally his first in MLS play. Morales went down. Gauld came in from the weak side and picked the pocket of the second half substitute. Off and running, White back inside, chops it onto his left foot. Brian White and a big save there from Daniel. Matched up there with Tristan Blackman. Service in, pushed away. Center back is the first player booked tonight by Christopher Calderon. Yeah, he just comes over the top of him there. In real time, looks like he, on the replay, it looks like he's just getting up over the top of him, makes some contact with the arm. And we turn our attention between the benches. He had the first half stoppage time goal in the 1-1 draw last week against Charlotte. Two, three players pressing gaps in between the lines that could really open this game up. Preston Judd just came on, and he's already going to have a conversation with referee Christopher Calderon and a yellow card on top of it. Vancouver to line it up for a third time here in the second half, fifth on the night. And again, Veselinovic just over the top of his head. Follow up chance, and Vancouver through Alessandro Schoff have taken the lead. The second half substitutes pay off for the visitors. What a strike! Veselinovic misses that header at the near post, and it just falls right down to his feet and through a crowded defensive line. Maybe blinding Daniel just a little bit, unable to get down to his left side. Hit an absolute laser through traffic to give Vancouver the lead. Now maybe the Whitecaps looking to double it. Gold out in space. Rodriguez giving him some distance. Back through. White! And it goes just wide. Another unbelievable ball from Gold there. Vancouver teammates immediately come in to make sure that Pico stays far away from that. Once 
Tempers cool for a moment here. We'll see what Christopher Calderon hands out here. Yeah, that got real heated real quick. Boy, that escalated real quick. End of the night for Amal Pellegrino. You know, weirdly, Rogo, when I think about the way tonight has played out so far, and obviously we've still got... As Ahmed rounds the corner, looking for the far corner! 2-0, and that might be game, set, match here in San Jose! A thing of beauty from the second half substitute. And you look at this isolation, he's gone so quick from Tommy Thompson. And then again, just drops his head, sees that back post and strikes it unbelievably well. Knows exactly where he wants to go. And you can't hit it better than that. The moment it leaves his foot and you see that first touch getting off to pace. And you've seen him since he's been on the field, active, confident. But that's an unbelievable strike to the side netting. And again, huge credit to him. Great ball inside, Sharp delivering. Raposo, Raposo, and it's deflected out for a sixth corner on the night for the visiting Whitecaps. Cleared away by Vancouver. You'll probably see a lot of that for the next four minutes or so. No, I think you're absolutely right. Tommy Thompson, the latest player to get booked here, maybe displaying a little bit of frustration, uh, not just tonight but two weeks in a row, it looks like the Quakes gonna suffer defeat here. And in fact, they will. There is the final whistle from Christopher Calderon. I don't know it's exactly how you draw it up for Vancouver.